Hi, my name is Amanda Bloxon and I am a Yellow Diamond Beauty Tainer with Tyra Beauty. Being at the top rank in the company means that I get questions a lot from beauty tainers that are brand new to beauty tainers that have been in the company for quite some time just asking, you know, how do you do it? What is it that you're doing every day to make this business work for you and to be successful in this business? So I kind of wanted to compile a list of things that every beauty tainer should know and just kind of that getting started checklist for you. So I have compiled the top 21 things that I think beauty tainers should know. When you enroll a new beauty tainer, you can send them this video and say, hey, here's 21 things that every beauty tainer should know as soon as they get started. And here we go. Tip number one, share the news. Share the news as soon as you enroll to become a beauty tainer. Don't wait on your kit. Don't wait on the products to be in your hands. Post a photo on your Facebook that says, I am officially a Tyra Beauty beauty tainer. My products are on their way. I cannot wait to show you all of these awesome products. Here's my website if you want to take a look. I can't wait to take you on this journey with me. Share the news. Two is develop your why. You're going to join because of the excitement, but there's a reason that you joined. There's some reason that you decided to be a beauty tainer. Sit back and think, you know, why did I become a beauty tainer? Did I become a beauty tainer because I want some me time with my friends or with the girls? Did I become a beauty tainer because I want to make a little bit of extra money, maybe cover the car payment, maybe help my husband, you know, with the, the load of the bills? Why is it, you know, do you want to be able to take your kids to Disney World? Do you just simply want more? What is it that made you become a beauty tainer? That is your why. Tip three is to check out Tyra U in your back office. When you log into your back office, on the left hand side, you will see Tyra U. That portion of your back office is loaded with information. So definitely get acquainted with Tyra U. Number four, get to know your Facebook groups. Ask your sponsor if there are any more that she didn't put you in already and get acquainted in there. You know, treat this as an FAQ. Go into the group, scroll down. Tons of people are going to have already asked questions in there, so you're going to see a lot of answers already to some of the same questions that you probably have. And get to know other beauty tainers. You know, you may find that there are beauty tainers in that group that are local to you, and you guys may be able to do an event together. They are the people that are like-minded. They want the same thing that you do. You guys are in this together. Get acquainted with that Facebook group and really, really take some time in there to go through the documents and the files that your sponsor or your upline leader have taken the time to put in there. Tip five, be a product of the product. Put the makeup on, post selfies, challenge yourself for the first 30 days to wear Tyra Beauty and post a selfie every single day. That is huge. It's huge for your business. It's going to show everyone how excited you are and it's going to force you to get to know your products. And sometimes we need that. That is what's going to sell this product the most. It's what's going to sell this product the fastest. You have to really dive in and get to know your products. Put it on yourself. Put it on other people. You have to show them the transformation that happens in just a few minutes so that they know that they need this in their life. This simplifies their life. It gives them back time. Be a product of the product. You'll start getting compliments on your makeup. People will start asking you, what are you wearing? When that happens, it's going to be because you became a product of the product and you really dove in 100%. Number six is ask questions. Do not be a stranger to your sponsor or your upline leader and ask questions when you have them. You know, if you've went through the documents in Tyra U and you've went through that Facebook group that you've been put in and you've just stumbled across something that you just don't know the answer to, ask. Everyone always says, I know that you're busy, I know that you're so busy, but, or I hate to bother you, but, and I'm like, no, if you're asking me questions, it means that you're learning. I welcome all of the questions and your sponsor will too. Your sponsor feels the same way, I promise, because they know if you're asking questions, it's because you're learning 
and they want you to learn more about this business. So ask questions when you have them. Number seven, be consistent. Do not start this and then just flake out. Do not post every day for six days and then take six days off. You know, don't talk about it every day at work and then all of a sudden stop talking about it because that's going to make people lose interest. They're going to lose interest because they think that you've lost interest. It takes on average six to seven times of someone seeing a product before they will dive in and purchase. So you have to make sure you're being times one through six and then seven. That requires a huge amount of consistency. Number eight is to repeat step one, share. Share, because how else will they know? If you're not sharing it, how do people know that you sell this product? How do people know how excited you are about Tiger Beauty? You have to share it or else no one will know. Here's a bonus tip while you're sharing your products everywhere that you go. Make a list of everyone you can think of. Yes, even your mailman. Everyone. Ask them if they're interested in the product or opportunity. I try to find ways to just fit this into everyday conversation. If they say yes, score. If they say no, ask if they know someone that is interested. Not everyone that you know is going to be interested, but everyone you know can be a referral system for you. Number nine is purchase extra product when you can. Whether that be the product that didn't come in your kit so that you can get acquainted with all of the products. You know, it's hard to sell a product that you haven't tried or touched or just even seen. I always have one of every product to display so that I can show different shades and things like that. And then I try to have a few of each of the products that I find to be most popular. You know, a two minute tie over, oops liner, menage a brow, the mascara. Those things are wildly popular and people want those right now. And so this is not something that you have to do right away, but make it a goal of yours. When you start making a little bit of extra commission with Tyra Beauty, try to put a little bit of that back in and say, you know, okay, I'm going to put this back so that I can purchase a couple extra mascaras next week. And obviously you're going to, that's going to just be a savings account because it's going to make you even more money. It's an investment. And so I don't want you to think that you have to go out and just purchase a ton of product right off the bat, but Definitely make it a goal of yours to have one of every product to display and to use and to have a few extra of the most popular items so that you can have those on hand for your right now customers. Number 10, host a launch party at home and online. I challenge you to host a launch party at home as well. I know that we are in this generation of social selling and everybody wants to be able to do everything online and that's awesome. It's awesome that we can do that. But your friends and family that live local to you need to see this. They need to have it tangible in their hands. They need to see the transformation that happens in just a few minutes. That's what you can do at a home launch party. So even if you're going to do it online, do both. That is what's going to really kickstart your business is being able to offer it to your friends and family that are far away and your friends and family that are in your backyard. Number 11 is to repeat step one, share, share instead of sell. Don't be spammy, don't be pitchy, just share. You know, another reason that I say to have, you know, a lot of the different shades of product is because it forces you too to kind of try new shades. I personally would have never worn red lipstick if I didn't just make myself try it. And then you can make yourself post the photo. It's kind of like that, challenging yourself to step outside the box and, and get out of your comfort zone a little bit. And when you do that, people will see other shades that we have, other products that we have. We share everything in life. We share about everywhere that we go, new recipes that we love, new products, new hair products, new nail products, new everything. When you stumble across something that you like, you tell people about it. Even, you know, when somebody mows your yard and you like their service, you refer them to people. You have to treat this just like that. You know, treat this like your referral system. You're referring your friends and family to try this awesome product. There just happens to be a kickback on the other side where you get commission. You have to share this just like that. Share it like that and it'll have the same results as that. Number 12 is look up events. Look in your group or ask your sponsor, when is HQ coming to your city again? You know, when is our next convention? 
When is the next event for Tyra Beauty that you can attend to learn more about your business, to meet other beauty trainers? You got to know these things. Events change your life. So you have to know when is the next event that's close to you, that's even close enough to drive a couple of hours maybe if you can. You got to get the know on events so that you can connect with other beauty trainers and with corporate so that you can really become involved in your business. Number 13, following number 12, we're going to talk about local events. Find those. Find local events that you can be a part of to share the Tyra Beauty brand. Bridal shows, expos, county fairs, home shows. They all need vendors just like you that want to share their product. So get on Google, find local events that you can get out there and share Tire Beauty with people in your area. Number 14, remember that you do not have to have all the answers. This is a business that will not be hard unless you make it hard. So don't think that you have to go through every single ounce of the files. You don't have to read between the lines. You don't have to know all of the ingredients. You don't have to know every single thing. There are so many things that you're gonna learn along the way. Let those come. Let those come organically. Don't think that you have to have every single answer or else you're gonna spend all of your time looking things up. You just don't want to waste a ton of time when you could be out there sharing the product and putting the product on people and really sharing the brand and your business. Number 15 is repeat step one. Share, 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 share. Brand yourself. By this time, you know, you're being consistent. You're sharing it. You are the face of Tyra Beauty. People know by this point that you are their Tyra Beauty girl. That's how you start branding yourself. You start really putting yourself out there like this is your thing and people start correlating the two. Before you know it, people will be saying, oh, I know someone that sells that. I know where you can get Oops Liner. You can get it from so-and-so and your name will be what comes to mind. That's because you have consistently shared and because you've branded yourself as the Tyra Beauty person, the Tyra Beauty makeup girl, the beauty tainer for them. That's what you are becoming by branding yourself and by being consistent. Number 16 is think before you speak. Try and think of what it is that you would want to see from a business partner or from somebody that you would want to join in this business. Would you want to see a ton of negative stuff? Would you want to see somebody that doesn't really look like they like their life very much, that looks like they can't stand waking up in the morning. They hate Mondays. They hate their husband. They hate their job. You know, they have baby mama drama. <laughs> no baby mama drama. Think before you speak. You need to make sure that you're someone that people want to be around, that people want to join. You know, we all have that moment where we want to type something out and we just want to release it and let it out, especially on Facebook. We all have that, but you have to, for me, type it out delete. Type it out, delete. It will make you feel better, I promise. But think about it before you hit post because you have a business now and you are a brand now and you have to make sure that people are wanting to join you. The products and the opportunity are going to take you this far. You know, you are what's going to take it this far. Number 17 is be excited. Share your excitement. If this doesn't look fun, who's going to want to do it? No one. You know, you, you can't make this look hard or people aren't going to want to do it. You have to make this look fun like it is. You know, if you're only sharing the times of trial, then people are going to think it's always a trial. If you're never sharing the times of excitement, people are going to think it's never fun. So, Always share your excitement. Some people are going to join your business just to be a part of something. And that something they have to see is fun. They have to see that it's something that's worth being a part of. Number 18 is repeat step two. Remember why you started this. By this point, you're going to feel like giving up. You're going to have felt like, I just don't know. Whether you've sold one product or a hundred products, by this point, you're going to feel like, is it enough? Is it enough? You know, am I doing this the right way? Is this actually working for me? Do people really want what I have? 
Everybody, myself included, will have questions like that. So when that happens, you have to be able to circle back to your why. You have to be able to say to yourself, well, okay, I started this because I wanted to have more for my kids or because we wanted to save for a Disney trip or because I wanted to pay a little bit of the bills around the house. Circle back to your why because it will get you through those moments of clarity that are needed. Those moments where you just need that little bit of reassurance. It's kind of like any other job, you know? I know that before I ever started in direct sales, I was a CNA and there were times that I would be in the middle of my shift and if any of you have ever been a CNA, then you totally know that it is a grueling job. It can be dirty, it can be tiring. And there were times that I'm like, oh my gosh, why am I doing this? Like, why did I sign up for this? And I would have to remind myself that that, you know, and in that moment of my life, that was the beginning. I'm not only always going to be a CNA, I'm going to go up, I'm going to be an LPN, and then I'm going to be an RN. I'm helping people. And this is no different. This is no different than being at your job and reminding yourself, why am I doing this? Luckily for me, I have never felt about tired beauty like I ever did about being a CNA. So I'm, I'm on the up when it comes to that. But just treat this the same. Treat this the same as you would anything, you know, when the going gets tough. Because nothing is easy. Nothing is like 100% easy. If it were, everybody would do it. But it's going to be as easy as you make it. And moments like that when you can tell yourself, this is why I'm doing this, that's going to be the moment that it's easier for you. Number 19, on days that you feel stuck, come back to this list. If you ever feel stuck and like you just don't know where to turn, Come to this list and start back at one. Start all the way over. You know, even if that means going back through and sharing your news and having a launch party, relaunch your business, come through and treat this as a checklist and just start going through the steps again. You know, that is what every single beauty trainer that has gotten to a level of success in this business will tell you, that they had to go back to square one and repeat. Once something works for you, you got to put it on repeat because once it works, you got to keep doing it. Once you've enrolled one person, you got to repeat what you just did. Once you sell one product, you got to repeat what you just did. So if you're ever stuck, come back to these 21 tips and start at the beginning. Once you get back to 21, you're not going to feel stuck anymore. And if you do, you're going to have come a long way. You're going to have done a lot of business in those 21 and you're going to be able to start back over. It's going to build your business. Number 20, remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. Remember that this is not going to happen overnight. You know, you're not gonna sign up today and make six figures tomorrow. It's just, it's just not how this business works. It takes consistency. It takes dedication. It takes sharing. It takes working this like a business and not like a hobby. You know, Tyra Beauty is an awesome hobby if you want it to be a hobby. It's an awesome business and income if you want it to be a business and income. You have to define the difference. So you just have to know that none of it's gonna happen overnight. Even your hobbies, even things that you start as projects, they don't happen overnight. Your job, your schooling, whatever, none of it happens overnight. This is a work in progress. And so don't expect things to happen in 24 hours. Don't expect things overnight. And number 21 is to repeat step one. Share. Share your life. Share what little things Tyra Beauty is doing. Don't wait until something huge, you know. Don't wait until you're able to share that you bought the Disney trip. Don't wait until it's some huge promotion. Don't wait till you're Yellow Diamond to talk about Tyra Beauty, you know, on that level and to share your life. Talk about the little things. Talk about the little milestones that you're making. You know, if you're able to pay a portion of your cell phone bill. If you're able to take the day off work and go on a field trip with your kids, the little things like that. If you're able to order pizza more than once a month, talk about it, tell people about it. We are in a social world. People know way too much about each other. That's just life. But this is something that you have to plant seeds about. When you say, Oh, we ordered pizza last night. I could not even stand the thought of cooking. There was no way I was going to cook dinner again. We ordered pizza. We ordered takeout. I wasn't having it. And then when you follow that with, 
You know what? I was thinking too, before Tire Beauty, I really wasn't able to do that very often. I mean, maybe once a month. And we, we kind of definitely had pizza last week too. And so that's kind of nice. When I thought of that, I was like, wow, this is really, this is really working for me. Because that will plant the seed for the person that you're talking to that this is working for you. And that's the clarification that they need. They're watching you and not joining you yet because they need proof that this works. They need to see that this isn't some scheme or some system that just isn't going to work or, you know, that maybe you're just doing it just because. They want to see the credibility. They want to see that this works. And that's your moment to tell them that. And the next time that they want to order pizza and they just don't have the money because they've already ordered it once that month, they're going to say to themselves, man, maybe I should do that tire beauty thing. Maybe I should be a part of that. Because I can promise you that throughout this journey, you're going to feel like those milestones maybe aren't that large because because they're not where you want to be yet, right? Because you got huge goals for yourself. I, I'm with you. I am so with you. And I forget this all the time. I got to take myself back to that moment all the time because for everybody else, they need to see the little things. They need to see those small milestones that are working for you because honestly, for everybody, the small milestones would make all the difference. Did you know that two to $300 a month in a household would save a marriage? That two to $300 a month in a household would save a car payment? It would save a mortgage? It would literally take homes out of foreclosure. That gets me emotional. That's what you have. That's the power that you have when you share Tire Beauty and when you share this opportunity with everyone that you know because you don't know what they need this for. You don't know their why. You don't know if it's to cover the cell phone bill or to cover the house payment. You don't know. And you may never know you may never know, but what you will know is that by sharing this opportunity, you're going to give them a chance. You are going to give them a chance to change their life. That's the power that you have. So that's it. That's all I have. We're starting all over now. Back at one. Start with step one. Share, share, share. That's the biggest part. That's why I repeated it so many times. If you have any questions, drop them below this video. I would love to help you out. And welcome. Welcome to the team. I hope that Tyra Beauty is everything you've wanted and then some. And I am so happy to have you on this journey with me. Thanks for watching.